The topic of this video is a summary of what's new in February 2019, so the release of February of Arco Linux. This video is going to come in the release article. Okay, the first thing we've done, hard work has been done on the um, desktop called Deepin. So Deepin was already present and this is a look of it. So you see here this control center and the icons on this toolbar is now a little bit bigger. The dock, as I call, is larger. It's not a plank or anything. It's a specific thing for uh, Deepin. And Deepin is actually there on the B version and also on the D version. So Arch Linux D exists as well. So you either say, I'm going to install them with scripts and any of the articles will come in here. So we're going to make articles in the future because that was still on our to-do list. But basically you can install either Arch Linux D and then use the scripts to get deeping, or you can say, I build it myself, or you can say, I'll download it. Available in SourceForge Community Editions, and you download it from there, and you get yourself a deeping ISO, burn it on a USB, and there you go. Now, there's also a sneak preview maybe that can interest you. I've heard some positive comments already after the video saying, all right, I'm gonna try deeping, this looks awesome, so please be my guest. It's a nice um, desktop environment, it's fast, it's responsive, it's beautiful. It has some nice um, elements to tweak, it's nice uh, to, to work on. The workflow is now improved and that's why it's in this video. I have made a lots of keyboard shortcuts in there. So um, my finger memory just presses Ctrl-Alt-V, you know, that's Vivaldi or Super F7 startup virtual box or so Ctrl-Alt-S, Spotify and all that stuff. So they're all in there at this point in time, which of course improves my workflow and in turn, uh, I love the desktop even more. So that's uh, deeping for you. So that's something we've done and it's now themed and tweaked. And one of the things are that's quite important and we can actually show you that. That is if you go to the repositories, repositories of Arch Linux, there is somewhere a config deeping. So wouldn't be too smart to install the configuration of deeping inside XFCE, but here it is. So we have a separate package purely for deeping. So now we're free to do whatever we want with deeping and we have a specific thing there to just um, tweak it and theme it. You see version 11 of February. So Deeping has been taken care of. It's a great desktop. Give it a try. The other thing that's important is uh, communicated here as well on the home page. We've started with AAG. More info here. It seems that the links are not responsive on the website at this point in time. I'm guessing it's some kind of theming update that I should take care of. But here it is, Arch Linux starts with AAG, Arch Linux Auditing Group. What is AAG? A lot of information. You see all the links are at this point not responsive, but it works with right mouse click. So we have here this bunch of 26 ISOs that you have, that you can have, the middle ones, the full ones, and of course the Arch Linux and the Arch Linux D. These will always be the main ISOs that we have, and all the rest is derivative. It's um, built upon. So awesome is built upon Arc Linux, BSP is built upon, etc. Basically, we have just one ISO. But okay, um, that's that. So we've uh, started with um, a new way to share the ISO, and that's because of the, the your demand, actually. Users saying, hey, I wanna be a beta tester, but being a beta tester, actually really means hard work. I mean, the first week of the month, we launch an ISO, we test it, we test it again, three, four, five times a day. We install and, and, and overwrite everything on your computer. That's basically being a beta tester. But if you wanna have an, an, uh, a lesser involved way, then this is AAG, right? Between 
between the testing of the beta tester and the launch, we always have a gap of a few days that you say, actually, we're ready to launch. At that point in time, we're going to put it on here, on this website, on the folder of AAG. It's going to be there already. Other people can test it. They're not official beta tester, but they actually are testing it. But it's not a beta version anymore. You can't call this beta because we say we release it. It's just on there until the release date is there. So we can use the time between our release, our, our, our beta approval, saying, OK, this is no longer beta and our launch date. There is a gap for a few days. We can use those days to give you the people try it out. And if there are issues and that's the added value for us, give us feedback. Tell, hey, have a problem, this or that. Or, and then we can, uh, we can maybe change it or pull everything out of, of, of the folder, pull it back before we launch it. So that's um, the added value and that's why it's there. Okay, we've done also a grub, a new grub package and I've made a tutorial about it. Quick and easy way to have a grub. This is when you boot up your system. I kind of like the black screen, but if you don't like it and you like to have some colors when you boot up, you only see three, four, five seconds, I know. But this is what you can do. And it's all explained in here. And there you can follow the tutorial about how to make your grub look like that. So that's new. We've also changed the Compton file. The Compton is a important, very important file indeed. Let's go to, can we see it here somewhere? I think I better just type it. There's a very important uh, folder of my main article somewhere in here. All information regarding Compton and Compton.conf. I mean, couldn't be any clearer. This is the thing you need to, to read. And it gives you all the information necessary about Compton. We've um, upgraded from four to five. So yes, things have changed. Hey, that's life. Everything changes. Everything is an evolution. Don't stick in the past. Move to the future. That's what we need to do as well. If somebody updates a package, we just follow. We can't say, no, I'm going to stick with Windows 95, for instance. So a lot of information is in here. Check it out and uh, maybe it can help you as well. So that's Compton. We have a new version of Calamaris. Nothing really to show you there, but uh, Calamaris is our installer. It's a super um, element or application, five, six screens, and you're installing your, your system. You walk away, you come back and say, done, says the image, and then you reboot and you have your complete system all tweaked and themed. That's basically super. Then there is a qubit torrent that's new. So when we launched Arc Linux and we bought seed host, we have also had something in our, the back of our mind. Let's provide our users also a torrent. And people are torrenting. We see it in the, the gigabytes. People are using it. So that's super. Anybody who wants it, if you say, OK, this seat host does not work or the source forge does not work, then you have a alternative, three alternatives to download the ISOs. Then we have also the Mowgli Conky. So there's a new Conky out there. We've just incorporated the Conky that we found from DeviantArt and we thank him for creating it. And that's this one. So Conky from Mowgli. It's this, it's five to nine. That's pretty more, pretty uh, accurate. You'll see he'll round off the hours, but that's okay. It's it's nice. It's it's a incredible, difficult um, code to check it out. What how he, it is built, but it's it's nice. Then there's age block. In the other video about the update, I've included age block, um, so it's already installed. It's already running. So if you want to have um, HBlock, just just make it quick, very quick uh, mentioning here. It's here. <laughs> so HBlock, there it is. Improve, improve your, excuse me, 
improve, scroll, scroll, improve your security and privacy by blocking ads, tracking malware domains. It sounds awesome. We have our own package. Install it, use it, and keep the creeps out. Pseudo Pacman minus S. H block. Git. That's it. Run it. And you'll see it's going to tell you that you need to run something. Type H block minus B and it's done. So I've shown that in the other video. That's new. And what's new in the minus bin? Always and every release you check out, hey, what is added in the minus bin? Or the not the minus, the dot bin. These two guys are new, meaning open terminal the bat and the bat too. Why is it there? Just have fun when you make screenshots. That's the only reason it's there. And you need to drag this guy. Yeah, it's always a tricky thing. Oh, there you go. So that's uh, two little things to just have fun. Then there are some general improvements, which is not that important. Well, it is important if you're using Polybar, for instance. We have made the possible. It's possible. Let's see if I can find it quickly. Article Linux D, Article Linux B. It's always a question: Where will I find it? And the tutorials about the desktop will never be in Article Linux B. B is building, right? So that's the thing you're not gonna look. Article Linux D can be the source where you find information about the polybar and also arclinux.com uh, both of them I'll check if there is information about well whatever you're looking okay so how to get an extra polybar an xmonad tweaking polybar modules and more so here is already information about hey a bottom line a top and a top and a bottom I believe we can see it here this is the top polybar, this is the bottom polybar. So you can have two now, it's quite easy actually. So, well, it's basically a copy paste, but of course it gets a little bit technical. And here we have um, how to get two polybars in OpenBox, BSP, i3x, Monet and others. I meaning the others are all the other desktops will make. It's not finished, right? There are lots of more um, desktops out there and at some point in time we'll say yes, let's use polybar for this desktop as well so it doesn't really matter it's just a menu it's a bar that you put on your screen and if you want to have two bars well there you go you want to develop something polybar modules a lot of information is available just search for it it's in here use the search Anything else to stay rolling? I shouldn't forget that. That's well new, right? So if you want to stay rolling, it's also in the update video. You need to run these guys to stay exactly the same as the ISO if you do a clean install. Okay. Okay, if you turn, it's fine. And that's it basically. So the future, there are a lot of gonna, we're gonna do a lot of things, but the near future is going to be tutorials about deeping. So there is already everything available on Arc Linux D, is it still open? Yes, phase three, <coughs> deeping, deeping gallery installation. And now it's up to us to, well, tell you more about deeping because I'm really loving deeping at this point in time because of the keyboards, about the workflow. It's, it's uh, beautiful, it's fast, it's responsive. It has some nice, um, well, interface is nice and, and the themes, the, how do you say, the effects, that's it. The effects are beautiful. Some kind of, it feels, it feels like a second home and it's uh, very uh, efficient to work on it. I can only recommend it and we can always go back to the, the Arc Linux B and tell you guys, well, if you're not convinced by what I'm saying, Take a look at this teaser video of Arclinx B deeping, deeping, revisited. It is really, if you installed it in the past, it's gonna be different, this installation for sure. Okay, have fun on Arclinx and um, well, see you on the net. Cheers.